Hey guys, welcome back. I'm playing on Netherhold by Sean Chaos and Vampire. So, this is actually a pretty big map, so let's get to it. Now, there is eight secret rooms in here, and I don't know where any of them are, so my chances of finding all of them is very unlikely, so bear that in mind when you play this map. So I'm loving the detail. Alright. I'm going to be doing a lot of running around, because there's also collectibles on this map. You know, the... Dosh necklaces. I don't know if I'll find any, but they're here. And of course, I'm going to leave one guy alive to make sure I explore everywhere. So, it does seem to be one large building, and I'm going to kind of leave it as is for now. Oh, I'm loving this tunnel. God, is that a giant? That's a giant crawler. Okay. And now I'm kind of stuck in here, so let's just... Let's just squeeze past, shall we? Excuse me, gentlemen. Don't vomit on my face. Oh, God. Fantastic. I love it when I'm trying to show you guys things and I can't see anything. Alright. So we've got some sort of big mansion here. I'm going to try and make sure I explore everywhere outside first. I think I have, pretty much. Alright, then. So, lots of interesting textures here, and apparently there's quite a lot of destructible stuff in this building, so... That excites me, at least. I'll get off. Should probably cut down on the numbers, but... What is that? There we go. I don't want to overdo it. But, you know, I'm actually pretty high level with this character, so I don't mind. Oh my god, right. Oh, okay. Can't go through there. There's a lot of stuff in this building. Right. Wait, did I do that? Oh, I did! Okay. I actually broke this door open. Okay, that's... That's actually pretty useful. What is this weird shit in here? Right. Now I've just got a slow-moving bloke following me, so that's fine. Wow, this room killed my frame rate just then. It's got some interesting shit in it. Oh, there's all dead bodies in there. Okay. Interesting selection of doors as well. Oh, is this some sort of like, satanic worship area or something? I don't know. But yeah, I'm absolutely loving the detail. There's been a lot of work put into this. And it takes me a while before I actually get around everywhere. Oh, interesting. Okay. Now, there is tons of clutter everywhere, and I like this. Hmm. You've got me interested now. Where can I... Oh, what the fuck? Check this out. There's some weird demon shit going on in here. What is this? Okay. Haven't seen any Josh stuff around. But yeah, the variety of stuff in here is actually... Kind of taking me aback. That'll keep you for a bit. I know, I know, people keep telling me I can use the console commands for that sort of stuff, but... Eh. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Ugh! God, there's just no way to sort it out. No other way to sort it out, is there? We've even got moving, rotating objects and stuff. There's all sorts of detail. Look at all this stuff I could break. Right, you're going. Also limited on ammo for how much stuff I can destroy, so we'll see. I just love the fact you can just knock everything all over the place. There's going to be a lot of shooting. Oh god, that's a spawn room. That's a spawn area, okay. I should really get the sharpshooter grenade, shouldn't I? Yeah, check this stuff out. I'm still wondering where these um, like dosh symbols are, because... I actually get the feeling I may have explored most of the map already. It's not as big as I originally thought. Can I break all the wine? I can't break all the wine. Yeah, the textures are very well done. I like this. There's a nice variety. They all seem to be in the right place. They all seem to be the right size as well. Like the big stone blocks you'd expect. And there's lots of just little extra things here and there. So just when you think you've seen all the detail the map can provide, all of a sudden there's something else there. Now...
I'm trying to think, where would there be some sort of way to open those doors? Because if I'm going to try and show you the entire map in a map review, what I need to do is explore the entire map. So, where could it be? I'm going to check that door out at the end. I'm guessing that maybe I can't go through there, but... Hmm, I haven't seen any levers anywhere. Yeah, this this is really interesting. It's like every time I come back into a room that I've already been in, I always see something else. Okay, I have been in here. Yeah, see, this is this is what I mean. It's like last time I came in here, I didn't see these giant hands holding a head. Oh, what I did see though is that. However, it didn't tell me how many are left. It's always nice when it tells you how many things there are left like to collect. Maybe one of these lamps is actually a lever? I know, I've been watching a lot of films recently. I won't spend too long doing this because at the end of the day I'm trying to show you the entire map but there comes a point where you need to kind of limit yourself like how long are you going to spend running around trying to get lost but having interactable stuff is very cool like somewhere on this map is going to be something I can interact with that will actually open more of the map for me but yeah I mean look at all this interesting stuff you've got something dripping from these guys oh there's another one so much detail around here I don't say, as I've said about the textures before, I mean, you've got all these tiles of the right size. It's quite common that I actually see different textures that are scaled incorrectly. But this is all nice and sorted. Okay, let me go outside again. Wait, have I been down here? Oh, interesting. This is somewhere else that's new. I just like the fact you can pretty much break just about everything in here. I've got vents and stuff, things to spawn in. No, this is entirely new. I've actually not been down here before. I think I was trying to break stuff in here, but what I didn't do is go where he came from. So let's see. Okay, I've been in here. Excuse me. But I've not been in here. Got some sort of weird bridge. Clearly in the middle of uh, being put together. Do I dare go around the outside? Is this? I mean, check that out. Some sort of weird clawy eye thing with tentacles. God. There's another little dosh symbol. I'm making progress. I actually didn't check how many there were. But I found three so far. I easily forget these sorts of things. That's why I like to have a little counter next to me. It shows me. Okay, i definitely seen all of that. Maybe I should actually do more reviews as a berserker and then just leave a clot alive. Okay, I can't get through there. Hmm. This is interesting. Where would you actually put some sort of way to get through? So there must be something that's a lever or something that I shoot. Oh. Um. Think about the table and gravity. Um. Maybe it's outside somewhere. Let's have a look around. It's kind of annoying me that um, there's something I'm clearly missing here, and there's like a large section of the map that I haven't seen yet. Huh. On the plus side, you get to see this a lot more. It has the same before. Like every time I come in, there's something new I haven't seen before, and I'm liking it. A lot of attention to detail to be put into this. Did that break or did it disappear? Hmm. Maybe something in here. Oh. Ah, there we go. See, these kind of look like the symbols in Dark Souls. I think it's Dark Souls 2. You could, um, like, pressure some of these random pads and it would open stuff. They don't seem to do anything for me. Okay, you can't break the ventilation. Try checking the hand. 
Oh damn. You just have to listen to this guy farting and telling me he's fat repeatedly. Now one thing I didn't do is go to this creature outside, the giant crawler. Also, you get to see more of the outside of the map. We seem to be in some sort of some sort of cave, I'm guessing, with falling burning ash. That's interesting. I think what you're looking for is over here. This seems like the sort of thing you need. Oh my god. Yeah, let's go check this out. This creepy fucker. I'll tell you what he has got. He's got one of those. Now, I know that nothing actually happens when you collect all of the different dosh symbols. Which is unfortunate. I mean, I think that would be an interesting way to, uh, to open stuff. Now, when it comes to destructible walls... Oh! I have found one. There we go. What I was going to say is, I'd like to have a look around for some of them, because... As someone who plays a lot of games with destructible walls in... Hang on. There we go, that's a lot easier. There are certain places where it's actually kind of obvious that something might be a destructible wall because of where it's placed. Like all of a sudden you've got like brickwork here and then one of these like flat walls. Hang on, this won't kill him because he's got uh, explosive resistance. Excuse me, it did hit him in the back of the head though. Now, let's check this area out. Lots of rubble and stuff in here, right. Where does this go? Ow, shrapnel hit me. Okay, we're back in here. Now, where would the next area be to explore? Let's see now. I'm going to pay some strict attention to the walls here. Where would the next place be to put... Where would the next place to put destructible areas be? Where think guys? Where think this wall be? Now there's nothing in that area that opened up new places, so that's not something. Now there's got to be one around here somewhere. There's only so much shooting I can do. I can get through into there, can't I? Let's just go around the corner. But I can't blow this gooey stuff up. Oh, I did actually destroy something, I think. Did I do that? Now, I broke into somewhere around here. I'm running out of grenades, aren't I? Shit. Yeah, this is all kinds of weird. All kinds of weird. Any of these? Evidently not. I'm going to go back in here make sure there's not a lever to open anything. Hmm. Alright, well I think I've run around this map several times, so let's just get to the next wave, because I have some more to talk about and we need to make some progress. Is there one behind here? Yes there is! I was going to say, does it seem a bit odd that there's just tons of stuff just sort of lying around? Hmm. Now, shit, hang on, right. Shut up. Okay. Also, when this plane textures around, putting in tons of clutter, and in this case is plant growth to try and cover it up, that's very useful. Now, where have I actually got to? Is that, is that one-way mirror? Oh god, shut up. Right, there we go. I'll try and leave one guy alive again, but what I do want to do is... Huh, maybe I could see in there. I don't know, because I just kind of looked at it and I thought, hmm, it just seems a bit odd. Is there anything else in here? And there's got to be another breakable wall, surely. 
Now, one of you needs to stay alive, okay? I'm gonna get rid of you, so I can see you. Or maybe it's just a secret room? Secret. I know it says secret area discovered, but... I don't... I don't see anything new in here. But yeah, this... This map has a lot of replayability, and I don't mean just because it's got just it's got collectibles, but the fact that somewhere there's a way to find new areas of the map, that makes me just want to like check it out in my own time and just play it some more, see if I can find anything. Also, that looks different now. Maybe it's because I've found more stuff? Interesting. Can I? Ah, well. Too slow. But yeah, lots of variety in textures, lots of clutter, lots of different detail around the map. And you've got the curiosity of where are the extra areas? What more stuff can I find? And the amount of destructible areas is quite interesting. Like, there's so many stuff I could go around and try and blow up, try and find my way around. Like, I just want to run around and shoot everything. I mean, I've got tons of bullets, I might as well. I mean, not only is it going to break stuff, but I might find something. And what's the next place I'm going to blow up? I get the feeling maybe something like this. What's it going to be? Ha! Sucker. Alright. I'm going to be peace and quiet for a bit. Areas like these, a huge amount of work has gone into this, and as weird as it looks, it's also very interesting. The only thing I would say is maybe the variety is a bit is a bit much. It seems like they've tried to put in a bit of everything. I mean everything. Like there doesn't seem to be a particular running theme throughout this map. It's just well, it's like a jack of all trades kind of thing. It's like all of the textures that are stone walls and floors have been used. Is it a mansion? Is it some sort of temple? What is this place? Just my opinion. I think that sticking with a particular theme throughout a map is quite good. Like these secret areas. I mean, we've already been to the temple. The temple isn't a secret area, but what are the areas through here? I mean, like maybe the secret temple area being. I mean, maybe the temple area being the secret area is a good thing, but. It's not behind here, is it? No, okay. But so far, the secret areas I've found are secret in name only. As in, there isn't anything in them in particular other than collectibles and also, um, like, items and stuff, which you could say is enough for something to be considered secret. It's like if I go in here, there's, other than pickups, there's nothing new. There is nothing new in here. I mean, they've all got their detail and stuff, but you're not really coming across anything other than, like, ammo and stuff. It would be nice if, like, the running theme for this map was you come to a secret area and there's a way of opening, like, another secret area, like one of the doors. I mean, possibly, like, to open the doors, there is actually a secret area somewhere that has a lever in it or something, but... Being able to cause like a chain reaction of secret areas I think is something very interesting. It's something that players can do while they're actually going through the different levels. Okay, I want to have, have a look at that. Something that's up here. This is something in the area I can't actually get to. It's like it's more of the building. Hmm. Like, there's got to be some sort of area to get through this. Yeah, I figured. Unfortunately, I can't find everything on this map in one review, so see you next wave. So I haven't seen any problems with the Z-pathing, and the arrows have always taken me on the correct route to the trader. But one thing I will... Oh! Is it supposed to do that? Yeah, because when I came in here that one time I didn't have a torch on, did I? 
But yeah, I think one thing I will say about this is certain areas of the map do seem to be a bit bright. Like an area like this looks okay, but when I start getting into some of the tunnels and that where there isn't actually many light sources, like in here, look how bright it is in here. Like there aren't any torches or any lights or anything until you get to this bit. Certain areas are a bit bright. I do think um, some changes could be made. I was, I was hoping I could like jump and crawl into that. That'd be useful. Oh, god damn it! Go away! Also, what switched my weapon? Is that new? Hang on. Let me just um, clear some of the locals. Right. Okay, let's go around here. Stop that. Now I can't see. This looks new. I have not seen that before. Where am I? Oh, I'm just in this room. I've just never been to that corner before. Okay. And then, yeah, I come back around here. Okay, fair enough. There you go. You just find new stuff every time you come in. He seems a bit stuck. Is that his path thing? Okay, there we go. He's found his way around. Yeah, do have a look at that. He kind of, as when I was standing on this little section here, he kind of got a bit stuck. All right. Okay, he has no problem with it. So, see you next wave. But as to what I was saying before about light sources and shadows, the only light sources I can see from here are the candles. Uh, something behind the hand and something off down the end. Look how bright it is in this room. Like, you can see the floor perfectly. As for shadows, what's causing this shadow here? What it should be is like a light source here that would create that sort of shadow, but there's nothing. And that's not a disruptible wall. It's the same here. Again, it looks like there's a light source just on the wall here, but it's not creating anything. So, before I forget, let's get that. Other than the last few secret areas, I've pretty much shown everything I can for this map, so do check it out yourself, see if you can find all the collectibles, see if you can find all the secret areas. There's a lot to find on this map and a lot to see. So I know I did, um, oh god, what am I stuck on? There we go. Thank you for punting me out of that area. Well, I did say, in my personal opinion, there's a bit too much stuff, a bit too much variety. On the plus side, you get to see a lot of stuff in this map. My god, I love the support. So yeah, let's do a bit of tidying up, and let's get straight to the boss, shall we? Where's my last bit? My two least favourite enemies. There we go. See you next wave. Alright, let's see what boss we get. Let's see if he gets as lost as I am. I've kind of gone down quite a few twists and turns, so I'm a bit stuck. See, shadows like this look really nice. Like the cross hatching there. Okay, he's in the previous room to me. But yeah, I mean, there seem to be some lights and shadows appearing where they shouldn't be. And there are a lot of rooms in here that are just really, really bright. Oh, well, made a bit of a mistake there, didn't you? However, I'm like level 22, so good luck with this. She needs to reload every time he falls over, and we should be good. Alright, there we go. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.